Hi, and welcome to the Scrapbook Pals YouTube channel. My name is Siri, and today I am sharing this fun card that I created using some products from Lawn Fawn. So let's get started. So here is a close-up look at the stamp and die set that I will be using. This one is called Hey There, Hey Ride. And I just love all the adorable critters on this set. And you know, Lawn Fawn is just known for their cute critters and images. And I just love this. Okay, so to start off my card, I am going in with white cardstock. And I'm inking the cardstock up, or I'm inking my stamps up with an alcohol-friendly ink. And I like using Memento Tuxedo Black because it doesn't smear and it dries very fast. So I went ahead and stamped that a couple of times just to make sure I got a good image. And when I was done with that, it's time for coloring. And to start off my coloring, I am using Copic markers and I started to color the tractor. I know there's lots of different colors for tractors, but for some reason, my mind was going towards red. So I went with the red color combination here and I tried to put the ink color on top of the cardstock that I'm coloring. But if it's not there, I'll go ahead and try to list everything down below so you can take a look at that if you're interested in the colors that I selected. So when I'm coloring the images, I like to use at least two to three colors. So I have a light color, I have a mid-tone, and I also have a dark color for the shadows. And making sure to blend in between colors to make sure you have an even blend. Okay, so after I finished coloring the wood posts here, there are little small sentiments in a stamp set that you can use to stamp on the wood posts. So I went ahead and stamped that with Versafine Clear Ink. Okay, so now it's time to die cut all of the cute little images. And for some of the stamp sets, you're going to have to kind of break the pieces apart. And I'm using my wire trimmer here to kind of cut between the metal pieces. So here I'm going in and taping that down with a low tack tape just to make sure it doesn't shift during the cutting process. And after die cutting, I like going in with my white gel pen and I like to add highlights and details throughout my images. Doing this just gives the images a little more life and I love how it pops off of the page, off of the scene. So now it's time to create the background. So I wanted to just have a little focus area for ink blending. So I'm going in with some masking paper and I'm placing two strips down on my cardstock. And I'm using Distress Oxide inks with my blending brushes. I started off with a yellow shade and the yellow shade is from the Distress Oxide line. This one is called Mustard Seed. Then I went in with a green color and I'm using Rusted Wilderness. And the third shade is the blue shade and this one is Prize Ribbon. And to add a little more interest and texture to my background scene, I splattered that with gold paint. Then I went ahead and removed the masking paper. And I love how clean this looks. So to add a little more texture to the overall design, I went in with Lawn Fawn Stitch Rectangle Die and I ran that through my die cutting machine. Now to add the sentiments. I selected two sentiments from the stamp set and inked that onto my card panel. Then going in with the images, I'm using foam squares to pop that on top of the design. I like using a combination of both foam squares and liquid adhesive because it creates dimension on the card scene and I love that interest that it gives. Okay, and lastly, I adhered it to a top folding card base in white. And there you have it. The card is now complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.